When I invented the web, I didn't have to ask anyone's permission. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee, legendary computer scientist, professor, and inventor of the World Wide Web. Why should you consider this legend's quote advice in four minutes or less? Timothy John Berners-Lee changed the world. Tim is the oldest of four children to Mary Lee Woods and Conway Berners-Lee, who were also computer scientists. His parents helped build the first commercial computer, the Ferranti Mark I. Tim attended Emmanuel School from 1969 to 1973, and was a train spotter as a child, and was fascinated by trains at the nearby Clapham Junction Railway Station next to his school. In 1976, Tim graduated from the Queen's College at Oxford with a first-class Bachelor of Arts degree in Physics, a designation awarded to only a small number of graduates. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee would eventually become a legendary computer scientist, professor, and inventor. In 1978, he wrote, among other things, typesetting software for intelligent printers, as well as a multitasking operating system. In 1980, Berners-Lee was an independent software engineer at CERN, Conseil Européen pour la Recherche Nucléaire, the European research organization that operates the largest physics laboratory in the world. While in Geneva, he wrote a program for his own private use to store information including random associations. He called it Inquire and never published it. But this program formed the conceptual basis for the future development of the World Wide Web. In 1989, CERN was the largest internet node in Europe, and Berners-Lee saw an opportunity to join Hypertext, a software system that links topics on the screen to related information and graphics, to the internet itself. Berners-Lee said, I just had to take the Hypertext idea and connect it to the TCP, Transmission Control Protocol, and DNS, domain name system ideas, and ta-da, the World Wide Web. He later recalled, creating the web was really an act of desperation, because the situation without it was very difficult when I was working at CERN later. Most of the technology involved in the web, like the hypertext, the internet, multi-font text objects, had all been designed already. I just had to put them together. It was a step of generalizing, going to a higher level of abstraction thinking about all the documentation systems out there as being possibly part of a larger imaginary documentation system. On 20 December 1990, Berners-Lee published the first website. The site described the project itself and was available to the internet from the CERN network. It described what the World Wide Web was, how people could use a browser, set up a web server, and how to start your own website. Chosen by a panel of 25 preeminent scientists, academics, writers, and world leaders, they agreed the invention of the World Wide Web was ranked number one, stating, the fastest growing communications medium of all time. The internet has changed the shape of modern life forever. We can connect with each other instantly all over the world. In 2004, Berners-Lee was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for services to the global development of the internet. He was also elected as a member of the American Philosophical Society. In 2007, he was appointed to the Order of Merit, an order restricted to 24 living members, as well as the National Academy of Engineering. In Sir Tim's entry on Time Magazine's list of the 100 most important people of the 20th century, it said he wove the World Wide Web and created a mass medium for the 21st century. The World Wide Web is Berner Lee's alone. He designed it, he loosed it upon the world. And he, more than anyone else, has fought to keep it open, non-proprietary, and free. In 2013, he was awarded the first inaugural Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering. In 2017, he was awarded the ACM Turing Award for inventing the World Wide Web, the first web browser and the fundamental protocols and algorithms allowing the web to scale. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee is considered amongst the greatest and most influential computer scientists and inventors in history. SuccessfulDailyHabits.com Be legendary.